That's amazing! Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be smoking a whole chicken today. We're going to do it in spatchcock style. We're going to be doing it on the Weber kettle with cherry wood. Stick around. This is going to be good. Alright, so spatchcock this chicken. Take it out of the bag. Now this is a chicken that we raised and butchered ourselves. But you can get any chicken from the store. Just thaw it out if it's a frozen bird. You look up ways online to do that safely. You can put it in uh, just some water in the, uh, in the sink. Uh, this was done in the refrigerator for three days or so. Looks like we still got a couple of frozen parts over here, but that'll be all right. Actually, that's not frozen. That's some fancy way of tucking it in its skin, I think. Oh, that's too fancy for me. Anyway, so spatchcocking is removing the spine, and then you can lay it flat. I'll show you how that goes, but it, it helps it so that the bird cooks more evenly because you won't have this big empty cavity and you can get the spice on it more even. Every, everything just works out more evenly. That's not to say that cooking a full bird without spatchcocking is a bad way to do it. It's perfectly fine. I mean, think like this is a classic Thanksgiving turkey, right? Like, well, like that would be, you know, you get the breast up here and the legs. So this is just another way of doing it. Right, so take whatever you want. Now, a chicken spine is pretty, the bones are pretty thin. But you can see here we have the ribs running down. And we're just going to cut on either side of it and do that. We use kitchen shears. So you're gonna cut through, get the bone there. Yeah, see there's some of that ice that's in the cavity. Just scrape that out. Yeah. But like all things, do do what I do, you know, but better. So that's the spine, runs down, got it out. So now you can flip it over and you can push down and you can break this this breastbone here. Just like that. Okay. So now it'll lay nice and flat on the smoker when we get it on the pit and everything will cook more even because the legs, the dark meat is at the same level as the white meat. And it'll just be a better, easier cook. All right, Jake's out starting the pit, so I'm gonna get this thing seasoned up for us. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pat it a little bit dry. We don't want our seasoning to just wash off. And then, we're using the same seasoning he used for the ribs. And I'm just gonna give it a nice coating here on all sides. We're not going to worry too much about getting it underneath the skin. We're just going to get it out on top. That skin's going to keep that chicken nice and moist. And I put my seasoning in a different container because I didn't want to contaminate the entire jar. Just about does it. All right, so we got the smoker going. Uh, well, the pit, the Weber kettle, the snake method again. We're only going to be doing. What are you doing? You're not recording a video like that, are you? Well, 
what's wrong with what I got. Uh, okay, so we got the chicken on now and the pit's going. We're gonna run it about 225 to 235. I'm using cherry chunks and I got my water pan underneath it. Not much crazy out there. Snake method's about a quarter of the way over because I don't think this cook is gonna take very long. Especially with spatchcocking the bird like that, it should smoke up pretty nice. So we'll see you on the other side. All right, we've been on for two hours. I had just, I had just opened it up and put this probe in. So I thought I'd bring y'all here to see how it's going. Bark is looking really nice, getting really, really firm there. Got about that much of the snake left. That'll go out when we set the lid. And uh, we're temping at about 140. So we're gonna put the lid back on. Keep going. We're looking to get to 160, uh, uh, 165. I mean, 